I grew up in the south of France, in Provence, a tomato paradise. One day, a piece of news shocked me. Le Cabanon, the jewel in the French crown of tomato sauce, had been bought by a Chinese investor, General Liu. He decided to produce sauce provençale with Asian tomatoes. General Liu was trying to conquer this sector. The local deputy seemed delighted. But I did not understand why a country where they do not eat tomato sauce wanted to compete with Provence or Italy. For two years, I put my life on hold to understand how this product had become a necessity to all mankind. I discovered a different tomato, unlike the one we see in our salads. A tomato that you'll never see round and whole on your plate. A tomato modified by geneticists to meet the needs of the agri-food industry. These are tomatoes that are very firm fruit. You can drop them and they won't burst. I discovered a misunderstood and fascinating industry. An industry born from the success of Italian gastronomy and reinvented in the United States by a few men who turned it into red gold. In California, I met the biggest leader of this industry, a multimillionaire who is obsessed with productivity. In Italy, I saw harvesters exploited. In Africa, farmers ruined. For the past two years, I've been collecting sauces, juices, soups, concentrates, pulp, peeled tomatoes, and ketchup from around the world. The story I'm going to tell you is not about a simple canned food. It's an absurd story of our globalized world. It's winners, it's losers. The men and women who feed mankind without ever seeing the fruits of their labor.